Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Pocket Edition. This is Dallas here, and we are here on episode 101. Oh my lord. And, uh, as you can see here, I am... Oh, what the... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I am kind of bejibbling my way through the world here. Is that a word? Um, I've got a lot of maps created, <laughs> and as you can see by the title, we are actually making... Uh, I don't even know what I called it yet, like a mega super duper gigantic map wall. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but as you can see, I am way out here. Um, I've already got a lot of it done. Um, but now I just got to finish this bit up. Oh, I, I don't have my boots on. Um, so if you can tell here, this river is right by our house. Then we got this. We're going to the right here, like all the way right. And then I've got all this and... Yeah, I'm right here. I need to do one more to complete this wall I'm doing. You guys are going... I am so happy about this. You guys just wait and see. Okay, we're on the sand island. Go a little bit further. And then create the last map here. Boom. Alright. What's this one? Oh, what the? Whoa, are those like stone islands? Hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I've never been out here before. Alright, so all I needed was seven maps right there. So, um... I know there's eight, but you'll see when I get back at the base. You guys, hope you guys like this because I've been working so hard on this. All right, so I am back home now. Um, now, I've been working under here for a long time, uh, this cave, because basically 100 episodes is a season, in my opinion. So we're actually, if you think about it, on season two now. And what I'm trying to get at here is I think season two of our world here is mainly going to be building underground. We're going to do tons and tons of stuff underground. That's what my plan is. I have, we're still going to build above ground and finish our house, but mostly underground stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and show you guys this down here. Um, I got a little bit done, but I'm making this place like a workshop. As you can see right back in there, there's our beautiful map wall. Um, yeah, I've been digging this out a lot. And I got I love how it turned out so far. <laughs> um, this is all cleared out. I got these nice like workshop looking lights hanging down. And here is our map wall we're working on. Uh, I kind of like the shape of it here, um, just kind of like built into the cave. And this is all that I have explored so far. And look at this. We managed to fit this Mesa Biome. I didn't even plan on that. Like, I just explored this way, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, this eighth map has the Mesa. It looks weird, though. That is for sure. As you can see, that's our little sand pit right there, where we get most, where we used to get most of our sand. Now we get our sand from here, because <laughs> I didn't even know this was here. Um... Now, as you can see, it looks very weird, and the reason why it looks weird with all the white right there is because that's where I mine. This is, as you can see, all these, like, ge like geometrical, like, patterns through here. That's my house. Yeah, that's my house. That's all over here, <laughs> um, which is pretty cool to look at. Um, that's where I mine to get all my clay. This gray clay is actually supposed to be, like, obviously the normal color, and that's white clay under it. That's why it's showing there, but let's go ahead and put these back on. So I went this direction. I just did this whole line. Um, so we're going to put that there. And we actually have an ocean biome over here. And there's the village. It goes to show how much close this stuff actually is. That goes there. That one there. Boom. I want to make sure I got all these right in order. Is that right? It doesn't look right. I don't know. Oh, wait. Yeah. Is that, is that right? It looks kind of not like it's supposed to be there. I guess we'll find out in the future. <laughs> that goes there. It's kind of like a puzzle game, I guess. Is this one right? Oh, yeah, that goes there. And then, boom, there's those stone islands we just saw. Yeah, so we got a nice big ocean over here. And as you can see, we got a river going all the way to our house. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I love this so much. Like, this is my favorite feature in this game now. I just love maps. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do this bottom row now, this whole bottom row. And I'm going to try to finish the whole thing up. I might update you guys on a few parts of it, but we're going to be working around in here today. I also have a plan for this part right here. This is going to be a mega. No, that's like a mega map, but we're going to have a map right here and it's super zoomed out. So yeah, I'll get back with you guys in just a second. I actually want to show you guys something real quick. Um, up here, this is the zoomed out map I was talking about. You guys might have saw this in the world tour. Um, as you can see, it's just very zoomed out. As you can see, this is my house, of course. There's that desert. 
Um, I'm not a huge fan of it, just considering it gets a less, obviously, clear, more pixelated. And then, oh, um, this is the weird part. See up here? Guess what biome that is? Did you guess what? Like, you're probably wrong. <laughs> it is actually a savanna biome. But, for some reason, weird reason, I went there and it's all dirt. Like, those green spots is, are the trees and a few pieces of grass, but most of it's dirt. I'll have to show you guys sometime. And look at this. This is as far out as you can go as zoomed. <laughs> I rode my uh, minecart almost halfway to the Mesa Baum, and that's how much I uncovered. Uh, we're obviously not going to be going this far out, but look, that's just crazy. I just wanted to show you guys this, but this is where this is going to be going, just like a 3x3. Three three. Might go a little bit more, but these take a while to explore, so um, yeah. I'm going to go finish that mega map now. Before we do all this exploring though, I managed to get a nice enchantment on something. And I was saving it for this. Um, I think I put it up here in my old goodies chest. Let's see here. Um, oh, my volume's a little loud, sorry. There we go, those are my normal boots. Oh, nope, wait, where is it? There we go. As you can see, these ones are Depth Strider 3, Protection 4, and Breaking 3. Really good boots, and then I got a Feather Falling 4 buck, so. If you guessed it, we're going to throw these together real quick. No, oh, there's a, oh, pff, sorry, that's probably really loud. I forgot to turn down my volume. <laughs> um, okay, that's only four, but I want to name it Dallas's Flippers. There we go. <laughs> oh, no, my anvil. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> Dallas's Flippers. Oh, my gosh. These are really good boots. Now I can jump off of stuff without a care and uh, swim really fast. Oh, another map. Where did I put that there? But look at this. <laughs> Freaking nether portal spawned in my house. Dang it. All right. So I actually did want to release this map, um, well, the world download when I got this map wall finished, but uh, I was just, I was waiting too long and I really had to record an episode. I really wanted to do this for you guys so you know where to go for certain things but I guess you can just watch this video <laughs> um, so let's see if I got this right there's part of the stone island then we go to this one this area is just a lot of forest that's all I noticed with those <laughs> there and this is right there that's our nice little rooftop forest if you guys didn't know that's where I got most of my dark oak from um, and then the last one there oh yes Turning out nice. <laughs> now I'm going to do this bit right... Oh, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, gosh. All right. Got the next map here. This came from the nether because I was over there by the Mesa area. So I guess that nether portal kind of is a little bit handy. <laughs> all right. So this is the next part down here. Hopefully I got all this right. I messed up on a few maps. So this will go... Whoa. Hopefully this won't cause a lot of lag in my game because I am... Well, it is raining right now, so... <laughs> um, so that'll go there. Then we switch to this one. That one. There. As you can see, that strip right there in the sand, that's where I'm starting to get most of my sand now. Alright, looks like I did good. Now, I had an extra map here. I'm a, Oh, Shiza! No, you go back right there. No! Wait, was that right? Yeah. <laughs> What map is this? Wait, what is going on? Okay, I have that one and that one. Which one would look like it would go there? I guess that one? Yeah, okay. Then what was this? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, this is the one I accidentally duplicated. As you can see that water right there. So this one can go in the trash. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be so cool. <laughs> I just, there's these like little lighting errors though. You can tell where the maps are. Maybe it's a torch. Oh, now it looks even worse. I don't know. I'm going to have to put some sort of lighting around here. I, I haven't thought of it yet because these will not do and I don't want torches everywhere. So yeah, I'm going to get some of these done up here now. All right, I got five more to go up here right by our nether reactor area. That should complete these. Voila. And um, I think I might want to go a little bit higher 
maybe dig out this bunch right here and kind of dig out all this because I want to be able to have my spawn point in the map so I can show you guys how close it actually is. Um, got this map wall over here now. Um, this is the obviously expanded one. If we, um, I'm starting to think, no, maybe not. Well, maybe. See, that sand pit right there is right here. I'm trying to see if we'll be able to fit the Mesa Biome in this. This is going to be the big, big map. Uh, these take a while to explore. These ones, right when you make them, they're kind of already fully, like, explored. But these ones, you have to do, like, a whole circle around it and then cover up the middle, kind of walk around a lot. So, yeah. All right. Now I'll finish these ones, and uh, after that, we'll be done. All right, last bit here. That goes there. I think I finished this whole top row here, hopefully. Yeah, I think I did. I was afraid I was going to be one short. <laughs> and this one looks like worms. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why that reminds me of that. Okay. Five more. All right, finally, our last bit here. I got six maps. I actually accidentally created an extra one, but that's good because I might expand this in the future. Um, let's go ahead and play some out here. So I think this one... Yeah, goes there. All right, this is going to look so good. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> and that. Oh, gosh, it's finished. Oh, this is going to look so good. Because this is going to be our little workshop. Um, There's a lot of stuff I want to do in here, such as just add useful things. It's not going to look pretty. I kind of want it to look rugged. Um, That's the idea of it, I guess. Um, I think I want to... I might get rid of these blocks, place in glowstone, and then put carpets over that if these will let me. I don't think it will, but we'll test it out. Um, in the future, I think I want to as well get rid of these blocks right here, and then we can have more of the Mesa biome in it. Uh, get rid of those four blocks up there, and maybe some of these, and all of this over here, so I can have more of the ocean in there. And then these ones will stay, so we can have a nice, nice large map. I love it. And then look at this. Nice big island over here. That is really cool. If I could show you guys that, it's a really cool island. Like, I would have built there. <laughs> built there, of course. Um, And right here, uh, I made sure to remember, our train track goes right through here. And then over this way, and then through there. It doesn't show it on map, though. Those two ponds right there, um, right in front of that, right up there, is our spawn point. So, that goes to show how close we are um, to our actual house. Alright, sorry for that cut there. I actually had to go do something. It is the next day, so <laughs> uh, that took up a lot of time what I had to do. Uh, I may sound different because this is my morning voice. I hate my morning voice. Oh well. <laughs> um, so, where were we at? I can't even remember. It was like 12 hours ago. But um, I think I was getting ready to explain kind of what else we're going to be doing in here. Such as this right here. Um, this is kind of going to lead a little bit more down. Because we are close to the surface. If I break about... Maybe this is under the survival lab, so that isn't too much to the surface. But if I break at least through three of these blocks right here, we'll be at the surface. So we're going to be heading down this way next. And uh, I think, believe it or not, we are going to tear down the iron farm and bring it over here. Because this is the area we're going to start building in. And the iron farm is not in our chunks right now. So we need it to be near us to produce as much iron as possible. So I might keep that one there, but just take all the villagers out and move it over here. And then as you can see, I kind of created a way around here. Um, we might do something with these walls or something. More maps, because I actually want to go to the Mesa Baum and create a big map for that as well, just to show how big it is. Um, then it comes back around to here. Now, in the meantime, between that last clip, I actually got this done. I was working on this. As you guys know, naturally, we had that curved staircase that goes around here. I didn't like it a whole lot. It just, I wasn't feeling it, but as you know... Like I always say, if you don't feel it, just restart. That's what I think. Um, I'm still kind of trying to get used to this. I don't know if I like it a whole lot. Uh, tell me guys what you think. I don't know. <laughs> As you can see, we're going to have a way that leads that way in the future. This leads over this way. Um, actually, I might think I might get rid of this one and just have that pathway go to it. I like having one pathway. And then we're going to have something that leads over here in the future. A lot of work to do over here. And then, of course, I redid the staircase here, so it's just more easier. There's lighting errors, of course. <laughs> Upside down stairs, though. So, yeah, I kind of like that. Um, well, oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy decided to get in a bow. I'm surprised he hasn't died yet. Um, anyway, I'm going to go work on some 
other things right now. So be right back. Okay, this is like take four now. <laughs> Once I get a phone call, then my Verizon Wireless texts me while I'm recording. So I put it into airplane mode now. <laughs> and then, you know, you guys know how I talk about sometimes my phone just spazzing out and stuff? Well, for some reason, like, it just like, without my fingers touching the screen, it's it, it acts as if something is swiping my screen really fast and I can't play. And usually I restart the recording then. I double tap the home button and it brings up like, my recorder and Minecraft and it swipes Minecraft and my recording on its own like to get rid of it. It's the most annoying thing in the world. It's as if it feels like someone's taking over my phone. It's that's how weird it is. But um, besides that, I've been working on uh, some lighting now. Um, as you can see, I got rid of all the torches, but we still got some dark spots as we build here. We're going to have like little workstations in here useful workstations that is we're gonna have to figure out some lighting but I got the lighting figured out for these um, naturally I was gonna have glowstone where these trapdoors are but I put trapdoors above them because in PC and console you can put um, what is it uh, a carpet on top of glowstone where an item frame is but on here since item frames now act as a sign and signs are for like full blocks you can't do that so I did that and it turned out nice I did the same over here so it lights up the maps really well, but since you can't have the glowstone on the very top, you can, but I just didn't like the look of it. It kind of gives a little lighting air up there, um, but oh well. <laughs> now, um, I want to go ahead and mention next episode, we're going to be working on something like a potion brewery, like an automatic, well, it's not going to be all the way automatic. You can do that, but I choose not to, it just gives you more control of it. Um, I learned this back on the Xbox version a long time ago. Um, so basically, we're going to have two modules here. They're both going to look like this, kind of like a 3x3 map wall. There's going to be one right there, and the center is going to be like the potion area, and then over here is going to be another one. And uh, you basically are going to put an arrow on the inside, and then you're going to have all your ingredients on the outside. And whichever you point your arrow to, that is the ingredient you're going to get when you press a button, um, which is really cool. You can do it same on the other side. Um, well, it doesn't give the ingredient to you. Like, let's say I have nether wart right here to start the potion off. You point it towards that, press a button, and it'll automatically put it into the the, the brewing stand, which is going to be really cool. I can't wait to start building this. We're going to do it down here, too. Um, it would make sense to put it up in the survival lab, but since there's no room for redstone up there, I decided we're going to have it probably way back in here, maybe, like in our new area. We're I'm going to dig it out as big as this down in here. Uh, we're going to have that and we're going to have a minecart system that will bring the potions up to the survival lab and dump them off there so survival lab is going to be basically the, the like the potion storing area because it is a lab and it makes sense <laughs> that's why i want to do that um but the lab is almost finished now as you guys know well i showed you this in the world tour uh, i gotta decide where i want to put the potions at I, I can take a few bobbing off now now that i think of it I kind of like view bobbing off, but yeah, I, I like it better like this. So as you can see, we already got some brewing stand. <laughs> I got a lot of work to do in here. I think we might have to dump them off on some floor down below as if like it's a collecting room, such as like maybe some places might be. We might do it somewhere down here, like maybe dig a hole and then this will dump off the potions there. I come down here, grab them, bring them upstairs and put them in the correct spots. I think that'll be a good idea. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for today. Um, I, we kind of got a lot done, actually. Uh, I got that whole area cleared out, which was already... Well, that was done in between episodes, but it actually takes a very long time to get all the maps explored. So, um, yeah, I'm happy with it, though. Oh, there's going to be even more maps down there. <laughs> I plan to have, like, a big map for every good region around here. When I mean my region, I mean by biomes, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, let's go ahead and answer the common questions of the day, or the question of the days. Um, first one's from Yashua Carrillo. They ask, what years... Oh, I mistyped that, whoops. <laughs> I think it says, what year did you start playing Minecraft Pocket Edition? I actually started playing way back when everyone else did, back in uh, 2012, when uh, the Minecraft Pocket Edition first came out. Uh, my first video is on the 0.2.1 update, and that update featured bookshelves and pigs. Yep, that's all. <laughs> bookshelves and pigs. And um, 
the reason why I don't think I ever gained any popularity because I have hundreds of videos back then is because my videos were absolute crap, guys. <laughs> um, I didn't really think about the lag issue. Like, my first video was this bad. I, like, move this much. Like, that's how laggy it is. Do not go watch it. Don't. <laughs> my first video is awful. And um, throughout all my other videos, I have bunches of old Minecraft Pocket Edition series. My biggest one that led up to, like, I think maybe 50, 60, 70 episodes, and that was like on the 0 0.3.0, 4.0 update. Um, yeah, those were fun days. Um, but yeah, I get comments a lot today saying, why are you playing in the demo mode? Go get the full version. <laughs> and they don't realize it, what that was the full version, because back then you actually had infinite tools and whatnot. They, they didn't take the time to look at the date it was uploaded, I guess. Um, so thank you for your question. Next one is from Internal Love. And she asks, what's the most tragic moment I've had in Minecraft? She asked for Minecraft Pocket Edition, but I haven't had a really bad moment in Pocket Edition. Uh, so I'm just going to say one I had in just Minecraft in general. Uh, on my adventure series, Minecraft Adventure, the PC series, I went to the Nether. And uh, everything always happens in the Nether. Um, I went without flint and steel because I thought I was going to go do something real quick. And uh, I didn't think about it. I destroyed my portal to move it somewhere else and then realized real quickly I didn't have flint and steel. So, um, this isn't really tragic. It was just scary at the time, but I love this. Uh, I didn't know about many different ways to light the portal, so I actually experimented. I didn't know about this. I didn't look it up or nothing. Um, like, there was a portal, and then I had to, like, line up some logs and lava, I had to get lava to spill real close to it, and the logs started catching fire, and I waited forever, I'm like, oh my god, is it gonna do it? And then my portal lit, and it was the most awesome moment ever in Minecraft, because that special moment when you discover something, you didn't have to look up, and you just had to guess and take a risk if it'll work. And those, I only had a few pieces of logs, that was the amazing part. It was actually planks, I think, but, um, oh, yeah, that was tragic slash most amazing moment in Minecraft I've had. But, <laughs> yeah, thank you for your question, internal... Whoa, internal love. Uh, jeez. Don't destroy my stairs. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them down below, and I'll answer them next episode, maybe. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you didn't catch last episode, um, uh, the is Dead World download, and, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that as well. Remember, send me screenshots of you and my world to my Twitter, and uh, I'd like to see them. So, again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in episode 102. Bye-bye.